بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو ایوری ون آئی ہوپ یو ڈوئنگ گڈ سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی سو نمبر آف ایگزامپلس آن دی کاسٹ آف الیکٹریسٹی ٹوڈے وی کنٹینیو دا ٹاپک اینڈ ہیو اے لٹل مور ایگزامپل فور پوائنٹ نائن آف دا بک دی کیپیٹل کاسٹ آف اے ہائیڈرو پاور اسٹیشن آف ففٹی میگا واٹ کیپیسٹی so the capacity of the plant is 50 megawatts and the capital cost is rupees 1000 per kilowatt so the capital cost is rupees 1000 per kilowatt which means 1000 multiplied with the number of kilowatts so the capital cost comes out to be 50 into 10 to the power 6 right yes the annual depreciation charges are 10% of the capital cost. So depreciation is 10%. A royalty of rupees 1 per kilowatt. Royalty of rupees 1 per kilowatt and rupees 0 0.01 per kilowatt hour has to be paid per year uh, for using the river water for generation purpose now what is royalty so royalty is the amount of fee that you pay for using a resource a, a, a public resource a government resource or a private resource or anything not a, a resource actually so over here you are using the river water for the generation of power so you have to pay the fee for that and the fee for that is what rupees one in per kilowatt and one pesa per kilowatt hours okay the maximum demand on the power station is 40 megawatts the maximum demand is 40 megawatts uh, and the annual load factor is 60%. The annual load factor is 60%. Annual cost of salaries, maintenance charges, etc. is 7 lakhs. Salaries, maintenance, etc. is 7 lakhs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes. If 20% of this expense is also chargeable as fixed charges, 20% of this is also included in the fixed charges. Calculate the generation cost in the two-part form. Two-part form is unknown. So not the overall cost of electricity per overall cost per unit is not un, uh, unknown. The unknown is the two-part form that is this one A into kilowatt plus B into kilowatt hours. Right? Yes. So, what do you have the first? Capital cost you have. Then what do you have? So, the fixed charges would include what? The fixed charges. So, this A is the fixed charges. B are the variable charges. So, fixed card charges will first include depreciation. So, that would be 0 0.1. Multiply 50 into 10 to the power 6 would give me 5 into 10 to the power 6 rupees. Then... 20% of the salaries maintenance charges also included in the fixed charges. So I would have this salaries maintenance etc. So 0 0.2 of this thing 7 into 10 to the power 5. This would come out to be 1.4 into 10 to the power 5. 1.4 into 10 to the power 5. So these are the fixed charges now the total fixed charges so you would have to sum these two so the fixed cost would be the sum of these two so uh, 5 into 10 to the power 6 plus 1.4 into 10 to the power 5 so this comes out to be 51.4 into 10 to the power 5 now this is the fixed part but we are basically interested in the cost per kilowatt this a is the cost per kilowatt so this would be what the total fixed cost that is 51.4 into 10 to the power 5 divided by the maximum demand that is 40 into 10 to the power 3 and plus rupees 1 and this rupees 1 is from this 
royalty because this is one per kilowatt right yes so do the calculations this comes out to be rupees 129.5 so this is basically representing your a which is the cost per kilowatt then the variable cost would include what 20 percent are included in the fixed chart so the remaining 80 percent you will include in the variable part or the running cost so that would be 5.6 into 10 to the power 5 5.6 into 10 to the power 5 this is the variable cost now we are interested in the cost per kilowatt hour so the cost per kilowatt hour would be what this total cost 5.6 10 to the power 5 divided by the number of units and the number of units are what e and plus you also have to add this royalty because this has to be added this with the kilowatt hours so first you have to find e which would be the load factor fld into maximum demand into time so the number of energy units are what energy units are 210 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hour so you put the values over here you get the cost per kilowatt hour would be 0.0127 rupees this is basically your b that is on the uh, on the kilowatt hour that depends on the number of units so which means the two-part form the two-part tariff that you are interested in is like this 129.5 per kilowatt plus 0 0.0127 per kilowatt hour right yes next example i'm leaving for now we'll discuss it we'll discuss it later 4.11 4.11 a hydroelectric plant costs rupees 3000 per kilowatt of the installed capacity so the capital cost is 3000 per kilowatt of the installed capacity the total annual charges consists of 5% interest depreciation is at 2% operation and maintenance at 2% again Uh, and insurance rent etc at 1.5 percent determine the suitable two-part tariff two-part tariff is a known if the losses in the transmission and distribution are 12.5 percent losses are 12.5 percent and the diversity of the load is 1.25 which means the diversity factor is 1.25 assume the maximum demand on the station pm is 80 percent so 0.8 80 percent of the installed capacity and the annual load factor is 40 percent what is the overall cost of generation per kilowatt hour so cost of electricity per unit is also unknown and the two-part form is also unknown you may have a little confusion over here we have a little bit of a technical point not a technical point but a, a little sort of a confusion you could say you would say that the the data is incomplete if you see this question why because the installed capacity is not given the maximum demand is not given so how do you proceed with this you you have this question in your examination and you will raise your hand directly and you will ask your teacher that the question is incorrect the data is incomplete but scientific calculations engineering problems assumptions are most welcome so the major thing that we need is the installed capacity and then the installed capacity can be taken into uh, uh, taken equal to the maximum demand as well so over here if the installed capacity is not given so i will go with an assumption that say the installed capacity so i would consider some value of the installed capacity the book has it as a hundred kilowatts so we will go according to the book okay yes sir so installed capacity is 100 kilowatt so then you could say what that the maximum demand would be 0.8 of 100 so that would be 80 kilowatts 
right yes and also the average demand so the average demand would be from the uh, load factor definition again the average demand p average would come out to be 80 multiplied by 0 0.4 so this would come out so because the load factor is the average demand over the maximum demand right so uh, average demand is the maximum demand into load factor so this comes out to be 32 kilowatts capital cost of the plant so the capital cost of the plant is 3000 per kilowatt so the capital cost would be 3000 multiplied by 100 so that would be 3 into 10 to the power 5 that would be 3 into 10 to the power 5 isn't it like this it is can I go more down I think I have a line I have one line so the annual fixed charges are due to the interest and depreciation so the annual fixed charges would be what the fixed charges that would be due to the interest and depreciation over here so interest is 5% and depreciation is 2% so let's say I have 5 plus 2 divided by 100 isn't it like this it is and multiplied with the capital cost so that would be 3 into 10 to the power 5 and that is rupees 21,000 21,000 rupees aggregate of the maximum demand so they have taken the aggregate of the maximum demand because the diversity factor is given so I would give you the aggregate of the maximum demand so that would be equal to your maximum demand multiplied by the diversity factor so 80 multiply 1.25 would give you a hundred kilowatts right yes now the running charges the running charges or the variable part so that is due to what that is due to uh, 2 plus 1.5 so because uh, 2 is the the operational cost and the insurance cost will also be included in this so you would have a 2 plus 1.5 percent of what of the capital cost which is where which is 3 into 10 to the power 5 so this is your running cost and this comes out to be where is it here 10,500 10,500 rupees now you need to have what uh, you have basically the the maximum you have the uh, a two-part tariff so you have a uh, on the capital uh, you have the kilowatts and then you need the kilowatt hours so let's say we find the number of energy units that so that would be FLD 0 0.4 into maximum demand is 80 and into time is 8760 so the energy units come out to be uh, what uh, units generated would be 280320 what have they written 280320 kilowatt hours I don't know why they have not written it in 10 to the power 5 so you have 1 2 3 4 5 2 into 10 to the power 5 so these are the energy units that are generated but over here you also have losses you also have losses so if you have a 12.5 percent losses this means 87.5 percent is reaching the consumer 87.5 percent is reaching the consumer so which means that you could say the energy units that are reaching the consumer these are the energy units generated and the energy units reaching the consumer would be 0 0.875 of these 280320 so this comes out to be 245280 so your calculations would be basically on this previously losses were not mentioned so the reaching were basically equal to the generated but the calculations are on the basis of the reaching units so the annual running charge would be what the annual running charges or the variable charge would be what variable cost or the running charges would be this 10,500 divided by the number of units 25280 whatever this is so that's this comes out to be rupees 0 0.043 per kilowatt hours right yes uh, wait 
I, I believe I have missed some point. Annual fixed charges I have missed, right? Yes. So annual fixed charges, this means this is the cost per, this is not the, the total cost. This is basically the cost per kilowatt hours, right? And similarly, the cost per kilowatt I have missed. So the cost, the total fixed cost is what? It's 21,000 and divided by the maximum demand is 1,000. 100 this maximum demand 100 so this comes out to be 210 this would be rupees per kilowatt which means this is your a and this is your b right yes so basically the annual running charges are this one the annual variable charges are this one so you basically need the two part form so the two part form would be like this you have a is 210 into kilowatts plus 0 0.043 into the kilowatt hour so this is the two part form this was the first question and the cost of electrical energy per unit so the cost of electrical energy per unit would be what the total cost that is the fixed cost is this much 21,000 plus the running cost that is 10,500 divided by the total number of units which a generated or uh, received so you will go for the received ones 245280 yes 245280 and this cost uh, would come out to be 0 0.128 rupees 0 0.128 or 12 pesos or whatever it is so i hope this is clear it is 4.12 4.12 example what does it states a compare compare the annual load compare the annual cost of supplying a factory load having a maximum demand of 1 megawatt so maximum demand is 1 megawatt and the load factor is 50% so this is the data given you have a factory and you have two options to supply the load from so number first is a number first is a private oil engine generating unit so let's say i would just write it a private right the the capital cost involved would be 12 into 10 to the power 5 then you have cost of repair and maintenance repair and maintenance would be what would be 0 0.05 0 0.005 per kilowatt hour generated the cost of fuel would be what 1600 per 1000 kgs and interest and depreciation would be at 10% uh, fuel consumption fuel consumption would be what would be 0 0.3 kgs per kilowatt hours and similarly the wages are 50,000 per annum wages would be 50,000 per annum this is the first and the second would be what the second would be uh, a a public supply company the second is for instance i would write a public only over here so that would be supplying you at 50 per kilowatt of the maximum demand 150 per kilowatt of the maximum demand plus 15 passes 0 0.15 per kilowatt hours so this so you have to supply a load and the two options are given which one will you prefer so this is basically a real life problem now so let's say we consider the first one so first you have to consider the energy units that you require so energy units are fld where is it 50 percent into maximum demand is one megawatt into time is 8760 so the number of energy units that you require are basically 438 in 10 to the power 4 438 into 10 to the power 4 kilowatt hours so these are what you require now what do you have is uh, next you would go for the first let's say i go for the first 
let's say I go for the first so the capital cost is given now the fuel consumption would be what so fuel consumption would be 0.3 kgs so you would have 0.3 kgs of the kilowatt hour so 438 into 10 to the power 4 so this gives you what 13.14 in 10 to the power 5 so you have 13 into 10 to the power 5 kgs you will need this is the fuel consumption that you will need now the price is what have a look the price is 16,000 1600 per 1000 kg so which means per kg the price would be 1600 by 1000 that would be uh, uh, whatever it is so uh, divide it please for yourself the book has not done it so uh, and this would be what uh, 16 divided by 10 whatever it is so the so the price would be what that would be 13.5 13 into 10 to the power 5 are the kgs and the price is 1600 divided by 1000 for 1 kg so the total price that you will need for the fuel is uh, is what 2102 rupees these are this is the cost of the fuel that you would need number one so fuel is done next you have what uh, I don't have any other thing repair and maintenance you also have repair and maintenance so that is rupees 0 0.005 of 438 into 10 to the power four this is for the repair and maintenance so this comes out to be uh, 29 21,900 21,900 similarly you've got your wages that is 50,000 so basically we are not uh, actually uh, determining the two-part tariff in which we have to keep in mind about the fixed and the variable part we are only determining the total annual charge so we do not basically require the fixed and the annual we could just sum the total and divide by the number of energy units wages is done then you have interest and depreciation as well so for the interest and depreciation i will go where how much is it how much is it it's 10 percent so 0 0.1 of the capital cost which is 12 into 10 to the power 5 so this would come out to be 12 into 10 to the power 4 yes yes so which means the total annual charges total annual charges comes out to be how much so you have to include this cost of fuel the cost of wages this uh, the interest and depreciation and similarly maintenance and repair so you have to add the four of them you add the four of them okay the in circle ones the total cost comes out to be 2294 300 22 94 300 rupees this is the annual cost that is uh, for the if you supply the uh, if you supply the load from the private company whereas in case number two for the public supply for the public supply what do you have is uh, uh, you only have the fixed charges so the fixed charges are 150 per kilowatt so 150 per kilowatt and the kilowatts are what 1000 so this comes out to be 150 into 10 to the power 3 and similarly you have 0 0.15 per kilowatt hours and those are this 438 into 10 to the power 4 so what do you have is from here 657,000 657 1 through 3 so the total cost from here would be what total cost from here would be that you sum these two and the sum comes out to be uh, 807,000 eight zero seven triple zero so have a, a huge amount of difference huge amount of difference this is 22 lakhs and this is eight about 23 lakhs and this is eight lakhs so have a look for the difference you're given this real life problem <laughs> you are working in a company and they ask you for the alternative and you say that don't take it from the public company take it from the private company <laughs> have a look for the annual loss you have 15 lakh annual loss so these are real life problems these are very important do you want me to go for one other question or should i finish it over here 
So I will finish it over here. Why? Because I am a little tired. I am a little tired. I think the, uh, the basic thing is clear. How do you find it out? So you have the total cost, you know, the cost of electricity basically. So that would be the fixed charges plus the variable charges or the running charges and divide by the total number of units generated. This is one thing that we did. And the other thing that we did is two part tariff. So that is basically what A is on the basis of the maximum demand in kilowatts and plus B on the energy units which is in kilowatt hours. So this is what we did. The rest of the example that remains, so I will do it with time to time. So for instance, we have the next topics would be hydro uh, power plants. So I'll try to do something with that. Then we'll have thermal power plants. I'll do something with that. Hydrothermal coordination. So I will do some examples with that. We'll do it with the passage of time and these are simple examples you can do it yourself but very important. I finish this video over here. I'll see you in the next lecture with the with the what with the topic of tariff. Till then take care. Goodbye.